First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, as we get ready to head into a holiday weekend, things are going to warm up. Very summer-like readings over the next few days. We just have to get through a couple of thunderstorm chances, which are going to come around the area, at least the northern part of our area this evening, and then maybe for us here in southern Kentucky tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at first alert. Live Doppler radar. Everything clear and quiet this morning on the radar scan. We're at 64 degrees, just seeing a few high clouds out there this morning as we look at temperatures across the Mesonet network. Mainly, it's low 60s off to the north, 61, Hartford 63 in Greenville and in Elkton. Then you head further east and southeast, we see uh, more in the line of mid 60s like 63 Campbellsville, 64 Columbia. There's a couple of 66s, Glasgow and Edmonton, a cool 53 in Bartsville, but again, this time of the morning, the kind of atmosphere we have, that station is down in the valley and is uh, usually reading cooler this time of the morning. Here is a shot from Doppler Cam, and we're seeing some cloudiness over the area this morning. It's mainly fair, but a few high clouds trying to work their way into the area. These are not the clouds that will bring us shower activity today. It's what's going to come in a little bit later this afternoon and this evening and again tomorrow that will be our shower chances ramping up. 64, the current temperature right now in Bowling Green, a south wind coming in at 8 miles per hour. And yes, we'll have kind of the breezy conditions that we had yesterday across the area again by this afternoon. Munfordville, you're mainly clear this morning. Up in Hart County, you're starting the day at 62 degrees from our AAA Systems Weather Cam Network and the Kentucky Mesonet. Greenville, you're starting at 63. You're mainly clear behind the old Muhlenberg County Courthouse and Mammoth Cave National Park is starting mainly clear this morning with a temperature of 66. Air quality, well, it's going to be up here in the moderately high to high zone over the next few days, and that's because of tree and grass pollen, which is not going to change. Unfortunately, there's just not going to be enough rain to put it back down in the low category or even the moderate category. Even though we do have a chance of rain, it's not going to be the kind of soaking one day, two day rainfall that would bring the numbers back down. So just uh, get used to that. Ozone is good. Molds are now up into the moderate category as they were yesterday. And of course, UV index will be running high today as it will be for the next several days, even with the chance of showers. UV will still be getting through. Nolan River Lake, that's our hometown forecast for today. Brought to you by the Kentucky Lottery. Litchfield, you'll see a high of 83, 85 for Brownsville, maybe 84 today for Munfordville over in Hart County in our Powerball jackpot for tonight, estimated to be at $114 million, while the Mega Millions next drawing estimated to be at $15 million. Radar, pretty quiet here. Some strong thunderstorms near Chicago. Late last night, early this morning, some of those were severe. And now we're getting strong storms up toward Gary, Indiana, Detroit, over toward Buffalo, Pittsburgh, all that well north of us. But we do have a boundary that's going to try to work its way into our region over the next 24 hours and increase the chance of rain for us. Right now, we're just merely getting in the upper northwest flow. The upper flow is out of the northwest. So some of those clouds are blowing off of those storms and coming down through Kentucky. And that's what we're actually seeing here this morning. 65 degrees at the airport, 70s to the west of us. We're pacing two degrees warmer than yesterday at this hour. So that should tell you right there that we're probably going to be a degree or two maybe warmer this afternoon, depending on the amount of cloud cover we see today. The flow here is going to be, uh, as I mentioned, upper flow out of the northwest. The surface flow is going to be out of the south and southwest. So we're going to get a mix of uh, air masses here today. And with the instability and with the amount of moisture in play, there could be a strong thunderstorm mainly north of the parkways this afternoon. In fact, that area, north, uh, the northern counties in our viewing area, under a slight risk for severe storms this afternoon does not include Bowling Green. But tomorrow, as the front approaches and an area of low pressure spins around that front, we're going to see a better chance of showers and thunderstorms here in southern Kentucky for tomorrow afternoon and evening. As you see right there, not everybody's going to get something out of this. 
but those storms could be rather strong and we'll have to watch that for the possibility of maybe even a severe storm or two. Not a big widespread outbreak or anything like that. Mostly sunny today, a few clouds here and there, breezy and warm, 86. Tonight, 65 under a partly cloudy sky and an isolated shower chance. Tomorrow we make it back to 85 with that shower and thunderstorm chance for southern Kentucky. 80 on Friday, a little less humidity as that front finally passes through. And then your Memorial Day weekend. My oh my, if you don't take advantage of this, uh, well, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Highs in the mid to upper 80s, a chance of showers on Tuesday. I mean, it, it just really doesn't get any better than that.